Hi children, it's an interesting case. See here, rotation of mirror. This is the initial position of the mirror and a ray is incident on the mirror so that it is reflected. So, A, B is the incident light ray and B, D is what reflecting light ray. A normal is drawn, N1 is a normal drawn to this position. So, this angle of incidence must be equal to phi. And the angle of reflection is also equal to what phi? The angle that is made by the reflecting ray with the normal is equal to what phi? This value is equal to what phi? Right. For the incident light ray, the incident ray makes an angle of phi with the normal. So the reflecting light ray makes an angle phi with the normal. Hence, M1, N1 and R1. M1 is the initial position of the mirror. This is the initial position of the mirror. N1 is the normal for that. And R1 is the incident light ray. M1 is the initial position of the mirror. And N1 is the normal. And this is equal to what? The reflected ray. Initial position of the reflected ray. Similarly, now the mirror is rotated by an angle of what? Theta. So it is now rotated by an angle of theta. How it is rotated? Check here. For a fixed incident light ray, for a fixed incident light ray, AB, if the mirror be rotated, if the mirror be rotated through an angle of a theta, if the mirror is rotated from position M1 to what? M2. It is rotated by an angle of what? M1 to what? M2. So then it is rotated by an angle of theta. How it is rotated? About an axis which lies in the plane. About an axis. This is an axis which lies in the plane which lies in the plane of mirror and uh, perpendicular to the incident light. Perpendicular to the incident light. So it is now, it is perpendicular to the incident light. In the plane, it is perpendicular to the incident light. So it is rotated. So therefore, the reflected light, position of the reflecting light ray is going to be changed. As the mirror is rotated by an angle of what? Theta. When it is rotated by an angle theta, the reflected light, the Direction of the reflected light ray is changed from R1 to what? R2. The direction of incident light ray is not changed. The direction of the reflected light ray is only changed. But the direction of the normal is changed. The position of the mirror is changed. As the position of the mirror is changed, that means when it is rotated by an angle of what? That is theta. So the direction of the reflected ray changes. The direction of the normal changes. That's why M2, N2 and R2 indicates the final positions of the mirror, normal and direction of the reflected ray. Direction of the reflected ray changes, normal position changes, position of the mirror changes. These are the second, these are the positions after the mirror is rotated by an angle of theta. But before that, this would be the direction of incident light ray, this would be the direction of reflecting light ray and the plane mirror is what? M1 and whose normal is what? N1. So it is just rotated now like this. As it is rotated by an angle of theta, now you see here, when it is rotated by an angle theta, the normal also getting rotated by an angle of what? Theta. So what is the angle of incidence now? With the new angle of incidence must be equal to what? That is theta plus phi. The new angle of incidence is nothing but what? Theta plus what phi? So the new angle of reflection is also how much now? Theta plus phi only. So this is the normal position. This is the direction of the reflecting light ray. So this angle will be equal to what? Theta plus phi. This is theta plus phi and this could be theta plus phi. Fine. So now the ray is reflected in the direction that is, uh, this is R2. R2 it is now going in the direction of R2. So see now carefully, incident light ray direction is AB and reflected light ray direction is R2 as it is rotated by an angle of, as the mirror is rotated by an angle of what? Theta. Therefore, the angle of angle through which the reflecting ray rotated is what x r x the, sorry this is what x the angle through which the reflected ray rotated is what x when the mirror is rotated by an angle theta the reflected ray gets rotated by an angle of what x so our interest is to find out the value of what x so now angle a b c minus of what angle a b d this is nothing but what d angle Angle A, B, C is equal to what? Theta plus phi plus theta plus phi. So what can I write now? Theta plus phi plus theta plus phi is equal to what? 2 into theta plus phi. 2 times theta plus phi. That is equal to angle A, B, C. 
and ABC is equal to what? Theta plus phi plus theta plus phi is what? 2 theta plus phi. Right. Minus what? Angle ABD. Angle ABC minus angle ABD. If you just deduct this value from this one, we will get the value of X. Therefore, 2 into theta plus phi minus of what? Angle ABD. What is angle ABD? A, B, D. This value is T phi and this value is phi. Phi plus phi is equal to what? 2 phi. 2 into theta plus phi minus 2 phi equals to what? 2 theta plus what? 2 phi minus what? 2 phi. 2 phi, 2 phi cancels. So, the remaining value is equal to what? 2 theta. So, the angle through which the reflected ray gets rotated is equal to how much? Now, please tell me. X must be equal to what? 2 times of what? The angle through which the mirror is rotated. 2 times angle of rotation of the mirror. Angle of rotation of the mirror. Children, please understand carefully. This is diagram you have to take properly and understand it. So, for a fixed incident light ray, for a fixed incident light ray, the mirror is rotated by an angle of what theta? As the mirror is rotated by an angle of theta, the reflected ray direction changes from R1 to what? R2. Through what angle the reflected ray getting uh, that is rotated? It's rotated by what angle? When the mirror is rotated by an angle theta, the reflected ray uh, gets rotated by what angle? This is our question. The reflected ray gets rotated by an angle of what? 2 times the angle of rotation of the mirror. So, therefore, I think you understood it. Take it carefully. 